Well, as summer approaches, you might be looking for some lighter dishes to serve up for dinner. And there is one place that we always turn to for great ideas. And that's Erica Schlick from the Trail to Health, who's going to share her recipe for lemon dill chicken and rice skillet. One pan meals make it so easy to eat healthy. And today I'm going to show you how to make a one pan chicken skillet that's going to have a lemon dill rice and some chicken on top. So as you can see, I've started to brown my chicken thighs here. Now I've used a little bit of grass fed butter and you can use coconut oil if you're dairy free and I'm just going to give these a nice sear on both sides and once that starts to cook a little bit we're going to go ahead and plate them and start to put this pan together. Now one thing that I really love is using chicken bone broth in all my recipes that have any kind of broth and the reason for that is chicken broth is so healing for you it has so many nutrients and minerals and it's so good for healing your gut so whenever you have an opportunity to use broth I highly recommend using any kind of bone broth. So we've got our chicken here as you can see it's got a nice little sear on both sides and we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and set these on a plate uh, while we make the rest of our one pan skillet. Now you can use the same pan and I've got a cast iron pan here and this is going to go right into the oven after we're done with our brothy mixture. So to get started with it we're going to add another little bit of butter and again you can use coconut oil here as well. We're going to go ahead and soften that and we're going to add some minced garlic and a shallot that I've got chopped here. And you just wanna go ahead and saute those, get them nice and translucent, and give it a good saute until it's nicely browned. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our delicious bone broth here. And this is about two cups of bone broth. And you can see it's nice and jelly. That's so healing for your gut. And we're gonna add in some fresh dill. And as always, use fresh herbs whenever you can. And we've got some lemon here as well. And you just wanna bring this to a light, light simmer. And we're gonna go ahead and add in our rice. Now this is gonna be the bed of the dish and everything else is gonna cook right on top of it. So now that we've added our rice, we're just gonna give that a nice stir, make sure everything mixes together here. and. And last but not least, let's add in some more green in the form of green peas. And I don't know about you, but I really, really like peas and rice. I think it just cooks really well together. And that's it. We've got our base here. And now we're going to add our chicken back in. And we're just going to go ahead and set the chicken thighs right on top of our rice mixture here. And this is all going to cook together at once. And it's going to absorb all those flavors of the dill and the broth and be absolutely delicious. And I'm using four chicken thighs here. You can do skin on, you can do skinless, whatever you prefer. And that's it. We're going to put this into our oven at 400 degrees. You're going to bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. But you want the internal temperature of your chicken to reach 165 to make sure that's cooked well. So let's go ahead and put this in our oven and we'll be back in 30 minutes and check on it. All right, and our skillet is out of the oven and I've let it cool just slightly. And now we're gonna top it with a little bit of fresh parsley. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on top of our chicken here. And that's it, it comes together so easy. As you can see, all the broth is cooked out. It has nice fluffy rice with all those herbs in it, ready to enjoy. So take advantage of these easy one pan meals and make them on your weeknights. Make it as an easy weekday lunch and eat something healthy, easy, and enjoyable. You can get this recipe on my website, thetrailtohealth.com and you can find other healthy and delicious recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website and Amazon as well.